All right, in this video, I'm going over the comprehension questions for the Golden Touch, the short story on King Midas that we read uh, today. Um, number one says, what lessons does the myth teach? So this uh, myth teaches us that old saying, that old moral um, of be careful what you wish for, okay? Uh, King Midas in this story, he wishes that everything he touches will turn to gold. And that on the surface, that sounds like a great wish and he's going to be rich. And then he quickly finds out that this wish that he's been granted ends up actually being more of a curse than it is um, a gift. And you kind of see this in other stories as well. If you think back to the... Um, Aladdin uh, movie, the Aladdin Disney movie, when the um, the magician at the end, uh, or the sorcerer, I forget what he was exactly, but um, he, when he wishes to have all infinite amount of power, basically he wishes to become a genie himself, and really he needs to be careful what he wishes for because he ends up getting trapped inside um, the genie's lamp instead so he really becomes more of a prisoner than actually having all that power that he thought he was going to, to have um, it also kind of teaches us this myth kind of teaches us to value um, people over possessions um, because you know King Midas realizes he'll never be able to you know touch anything he won't be able to give anyone a hug or anything like that his at one point in the story it talks about his uh, servants you know backing away in fear of him because they're worried that if he touches them that they will turn to gold as well so some valuable lessons in this myth all right on to number two think of another unwise wish that Midas might have made and then I'm going to correct this right now what would be the unfortunate results of that wish? So you need to think of another wish that would be a kind of be careful what you wish for type of wish, okay? Um, and then what would some of the unfortunate uh, results of that wish be, okay? Uh, for example, um, let's say, and I don't want you to use this one, but let's say my wish was, I wish that every day was Christmas. Okay, sounds great, right? You get all you get every day. You wake up and you get presents. Christmas is such a fun day. There's no school on Christmas. But then now let's start thinking. Well, what would happen? Well, potentially. If every day was Christmas, I would wake up every day and get the exact same toys every single day. So after a while, even those toys that seemed great the first few days, just like any toy or thing that you get, um, the novelty wears off, the newness and the coolness of just receiving it wears off. And basically I would be stuck in that for the rest of my life. So while on the surface that wish may sound great, uh, unfortunately in the long run I would, re I would realize that, oh my gosh, I'm just repeating the same thing over and over again. There's no variety in my life. There's no, um, again, if it's Christmas every day, I potentially would be getting the exact same gifts every day. And if that were the case, then that wish would be... Um, end up being a curse rather than a blessing. But I don't want you to use that one. I want you to think of another one that on another wish that when you first think about it, it sounds great, but then you start thinking of all the possible negative effects of that wish and um, what unfortunate results would happen based on that. Okay, number three, compare the king and Rumpelstiltskin's daughter with Midas at the beginning of the selections and at the end. Use examples from the text to support your answer. So both of these, uh, King Midas and the king and Rumpelstiltskin's daughter, at the beginning, 
They are both very greedy. They both just want gold, gold, gold. They're all about uh, getting more gold. Okay. At the beginning of the stories, they're both extremely greedy, and all they care about is wealth and gold in particular. Okay. Um, examples from the text. We could go back, and uh, it says, let's see. Um, when asked what he would like, what he would wish for on page 295, uh, that first paragraph, he says, of course, there's only one thing. I wish that everything I touch would turn to gold. So King, Mid King Midas is so greedy that that's, he thinks that there's only one possible thing. The first thing that comes to his mind and the only thing that comes to his mind is trying to have more or get more gold. Okay, an example from the text of Rumpelstiltskin's daughter. Uh, let's see. Um, on page 281, for example, um, when it's into the future and now Rumpelstiltskin has his daughter, it says the king, you know, I'm paraphrasing here, so I'm kind of putting it in my own words, but on the uh, first paragraph on page 281, it says the king hadn't changed at all. He's greedier than before. He's hearing this story about um, this, uh, this girl who comes into town with um, gold, uh, s looks like sewn gold, to buy things and he's hearing this and he says you know I once knew a miller's daughter who could make gold like that uh, and he says unfortunately she got away let's make sure this one doesn't so again he's immediately going to well I need to trap this person has no regard for the fact that this is a human being and they shouldn't be in prison like this and forced to do his bidding no regard for that. He's just thinking, okay, let's get her and let's make sure this one doesn't get away. Um, <clears throat> now, to, at the end of the text, both King Midas and Rumpelstiltskin's, uh, or excuse me, both King Midas and the king in Rumpelstiltskin's daughter have changed. Okay, They have changed. They're no longer these greedy, gold, crazy... Uh, men, they've changed, they've learned their lesson. So explain how they've learned their lesson and then give some examples from the text. So go back in the text and find some examples where they sh they've shown or expressed uh, their regret or their change in how they view gold and wealth. All right, thanks for watching. Again, uh, pause, rewind at any time. If you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to raise your hand. Thanks for watching.